Okay, simple video on how to change a damper. Um, things you'll need, some rags, scissors, syringe, clamping scissors, and of course, a replacement damper. First of all, we're gonna put some uh, protective cloths there just to make sure any spillage doesn't go anywhere near the cables. Okay, so let's just uh, I'll pick a random uh, damper. We're just gonna wiggle and pull up. The damper comes out. Now, with our clamping scissors, we just want to clamp it sort of back there a little bit. And then what we're going to do is take our scissors and we're going to chop that off as close as we can to the joiner. So not to waste too much tube. Okay, so we've cut that off now. It's not going to leak because we've got uh, our clamping scissors on. That's the one we've got off and you can see it's pretty much at the point where the little connector is. So I'm just going to put that aside for a second and then pick up our new damper. Now it's important that when we handle dampers we hold them from the edge and not in here because it's quite flimsy in here. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to pick up our line and we're simply going to put the end of that into the tube. So it's really just a simple matter of pushing it in. Uh, once that's in make sure the tube is all the way down to the very end then we can release our scissors and our clamping scissors and that's the really as uh, that's really the damper change. Now, the last part of doing this is syringing a damper. So sometimes we need to syringe a damper because there's air in the line, because this is brand new uh, line that we're brand new damper we've put in, we obviously need to syringe it. So we're gonna hold the syringe like that, put the syringe in the end, and then simply pull that through until we get a nice stream of ink. Once we get a nice stream of ink, we can stop pulling it. And then we can release our damper. And then we can just put it back into its slot and just firmly press, press down. That's it. Then do, a, uh, do maybe a load ink for 10 seconds, clean and nozzle test, and we're done.